your hands right now. God, we just thank you for your goodness and your mercy that we feel so prevalent in this building, in our sanctuaries. God, tonight we just pause and say, if you never did another thing for us, we're grateful for all the things you've done for us in the past. God, we also are grateful for the things you did for us that we don't know that you did for us. It's how that you spared us from the accident, delivered us, kept us from a deadly virus, God. All, all the things that you as our Heavenly Father looked out for us, watched out for us, and brought us through it. God, I rebuke right now any and all sickness, disease, depression. So you have no right to live in their bodies. They're God's property. We believe it. We receive it. Say this with me. Say, Dear Heavenly Father, if I have any sin in my life that I know about or I don't know about, I ask you to forgive me right now in accordance with 1 John 1 and 9. If we confess our sins, you're faithful and just to forgive us of our sins and cleanse us from all unrighteousness. I'm now forgiven, justified, just as if I never. And if God has forgiven me, I choose to forgive myself. By faith, I receive it now. In Jesus' name, and everybody said amen. Come on, give the Lord praise tonight. Ferguson, Florida. Come on, turn up the lights. I want to see you. The worship was so good. Just it's like a, I was sitting there on the front row just enjoying it and thinking, man, I don't know if you know this, and I, you might not, but it's like a lot of times you hear, have you ever been, well, have you ever been to a concert? And you're like, man, these people sound so much better on the radio because they're digitally mastered. Anybody ever done that? You're like, you really can't sing. But this is live. All these vocalists, and they're in Florida. Come on, give it up. It's, it's phenomenal. It's good. The band, so good. And then uh, we'll go ahead and tell the person next to you. Don't sit down, but just look at them and say, uh, so I was listening to you singing, and you're pretty good. Just tell them that. Even if you're lying, it makes people happy. So you're just, I didn't know. I didn't know you could sing like that. Come on, Gloria. You got it going on, right? Well, I love you. It's so beautiful. Before we sit down, let's do something. Y'all want to do something? Some of you are like, I don't know. What is it? What I want you to do just for like, just for a minute, maybe we'll... Uh, switch songs to something else. I don't care. Go to G, but go to something. But what we're going to do is we're going to get out of our seat. Florida, Ferguson. By the way, do you have the pictures of Ferguson I just texted you? Do you can you put those up? Ferguson and I stole a bunch of people from Sunset Hills because they had spaghetti at Sunset Hill or Ferguson before church. Look at them over there. They're eating. Look at these people. Even the cops are eating. Everybody is eating. And they're sending me these pictures on the front row and I'm like, I need to get my butt to Ferguson. Come on, somebody. I'm just telling you. But anyway, shame on you. My gosh. Somebody. I will say today I went to a little lunch meeting and Pastor Nia from Ferguson was there. And there was an African-American woman there. Her nails were perfect. Looked perfect. She actually looked like she went to her church. I thought she was going to say, hi, Pastor David. But she didn't know. It's like surprising because she looked just like she went to her church. She had the look. So I'm like, she's just... You know, I looked at Nia, and Nia's like, hey, your, wedding, your engagement ring, isn't that beautiful? Oh, yeah. She said, you know, want to get married. She said, when's the date? I know Nia's working on something. Oh, yeah, where are you going to get married? I'm going to do it at a courthouse. She said, you could do it at a church. See where she's going with this? Some of you ain't getting this. See where she's going with this? Because she ain't going to let this girl go to hell, you know? So Nia starts working her deal. Rigo's by, by me. Everybody was in there. And, and all of a sudden, next thing you know, she says, you could do a church. She said, we're all, and Rigo's, we're all pastors. Two girls and a guy. Come on, somebody said, we're all pastors, yeah? Oh, yeah. So then she said, where do you live? She said, I live up in the Ferguson area. And she goes, I happen to pastor in the Ferguson area. Told the church, she said, oh, is that the faith church, the big one with the steeple and all that? She said, yeah. said, I pass that all the time. It's right by my house. She said, girl, you need to come see me. And I said, because we're all in this together, I bet she would do you a wedding on a deal. Come on, somebody right now. So now we walk over and we're sitting down. 
And Nia's over there just blah, 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 blah. I don't know what she's saying. If you saw my Instagram, I got her. She's working it. And then I saw her turn around, and Nia was like, you know, that Pentecostal, like, she did like that right there. Y'all, anybody know how to shout like that? Okay, give me some shout music. They, white people don't know. Any guy, ever, I seem like you be a shouter. Come here. You were skinny. He ain't going to hurt us. Anybody, give me some dum 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 dum. What happens at the church? There you go. That's what I, I didn't even know it did. Oh, we got another shouter. Come here. Bring him up. Highlands College. Come here. Bring him up. Come on. You ain't done yet, skinny. That's what she was doing. She went back. Said, Somebody ought to sing, look what the Lord has done. Ready? Up, up, up. Yeah, look what the Lord has done. Yeah, look what the Lord has done. He healed my body. He healed my body. He touched my mind. He saved me just in time. I'm going to praise His name. Come on, Florida. He's day. He's day. He's just the same. Somebody. He ain't just shot. Somebody gonna mess around and have a church. I can dance, dance, dance all night. Remember that? I can dance, dance, dance all night. You know that? I can dance, 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 dance all night.
Right now, I'm just thinking about all the people in Ferguson who ate way too much spaghetti, and they're wanting to shout, but they're like, I got acid reflux. I can't be jumping like that right there. How many of y'all like a church like that? Come on, someone. Y'all know this song? Hey, I'll just stop the beat and then take the key of Jacob. Yeah, I don't know if you guys know this song, but you need to know this song. I taught Elijah a song today. I'll take, we'll, might do that later, but here, here's one. I better do it before I forget it. I said, can't nobody. It's dirty. I do me like Jesus. It'll be all like a hand. Nobody. I do me like love. I do me like love. I mean, I could feel it. I could feel it going into your house. I was thinking about a couple of people, I won't say their name, but a couple of people that go to a church that are in a fight of faith right now, and I sent them videos today, and they're fighting cancer, but they're not fighting it alone. And I was thinking about how he, when they said, uh, I looked at him and said, he healed my body and told me to run on. And I was thinking about what that means. That means you got to receive by faith that you got it, and you got to keep on running, and it might look more like this but you're running on the inside and it won't be long. Come on, somebody, it's you. So, oh, I got it, I got it. The manifestation is here. Somebody ought to give God praise tonight. Come on, if you need anything right now in Florida, Ferguson, or around the world, just reach your hand up and get it. Just get it, pull it down. Heal my body. 
I've got a beautiful sermon and I really want to preach it, but we might, I don't know, we might never get to it, but I feel led to tell you this. When I was a little boy, and we didn't have any medical insurance because my dad was an evangelist, so we live in a trailer trailer that was no longer than this stage, not really much wider. And my dad slept in his little back room, him and my mother, and there was a little bathroom, a little, little shower, and then there was a little stove, and then there was this table that made to a bed, and that's where I slept with my brother. That's where we ate lunch. It was a table, and it turned down. It was always kind of nasty because my brother went to bed still and we'd be eating off the table. That's a whole other message. But I remember one night in particular, I got the flu. I was really sick. And I remember my dad walked in to the front and he started praying for me. Now he was in the back listening to Kenneth Copeland and we was dubbing tapes because there was no high speed duplicator. So there was one cassette tape players and it was plugged into the other and he was pushing play in the middle of the night and flipping them over to record. And we had to stay in this town for two weeks because that's how hungry he was for those tapes. Changed our life forever. And I could hear that, and he was hearing that. And he came up to me, and I was throwing up everywhere. And he looked at me and said, I'm going to pray for you along the lines I'm saying right now and told me to run on. He prayed for me and rebuked it. And while he's praying for me, I'm throwing up. And then my dad looked at me when he said, amen. And he said, jump three times. And on the third time, you'll be healed. There's no organ. I'm in my little Spider-Man pajamas. There's no, I don't feel the anointing. I'm throwing up. My dad said, jump. And I said, dad, I can't. And he said, jump. I said, dad, I can't. He said, if you don't jump, I'm throwing up. It's going to sound hard to you. He said, I'm going to whip you if you don't jump. And I went, Ugh. I'm crying, throwing up. I did it again. And on that third jump, God is my witness, the third jump I went up and complete manifestation hit my body and I was completely healed on the third jump. Now I know it sounds hard, but if he hadn't have done that, I couldn't do this. See what I'm saying? If my faith hadn't have grown there, I couldn't be here. Some of y'all don't even know what I'm saying right now. Sometimes you're, you're being tried and tested, not of God, but of the devil. And if you can't pass the test of jumping when you're throwing up, you can't pass the test when God brings that multi-million dollar business into your hand or, or, or causes you to employ people. You would implode. Somebody ought to shout amen. you got to learn through the things that you suffer. God didn't do it, the devil did it, but he takes pleasure in taking what the devil does and says, I healed your body, run on, run on. You're gonna make it through the depression, you're gonna make it through the divorce, you're gonna make it through the bankruptcy, you're gonna make it. You know who's gonna win? You're gonna win, why? Because we've been seated with Jesus in heavenly places in Christ. I wish half the people would get a hold of what I'm saying. By the way, I failed to mention my dad was crying while he was telling me that. Because he didn't want to do that. He's my dad. He wanted to hold me and tell me it'd be okay. But I wouldn't be okay. I'd, honestly, I'd be dead right now with all the stuff I've been through if I hadn't had all that training. And by the way, that's why you go to church on Tuesday night. So you can learn this stuff for Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. Because it's not if the devil's going to attack you, it's when. It's not if, it's when. <laughs> but you don't have to worry about it because the greater one is living and abiding on the inside of you. And if he did it once, <laughs> oh, he's going to do it again. I, I, it must have been yesterday I was walking and praying and the Lord just began to speak to me about teaching you about being seated with Jesus in heavenly places. Then I got to thinking about a song that I haven't thought about in 15 years. And so I went into the band yesterday and I said, hey, Google this song and I sing it for them and then Google it. 
And I told him, learn the song. And I was told that Elijah pulled it off the best, or he's the bravest, or they had a bet and he lost. But this song my friend wrote says, I've been seated with Jesus in heavenly places in Christ. I've been given his power. I've been given his name. Now in this life, I rule and I reign. So I want to teach it to you because I want you to get it stuck in your spirit. It's my friend all the way. How, where do you drive from? Is it Cape? How, how long a drive was that tonight? Hour and a half. Hour and a half. Church life's worth the drive. There it is right there. My low rapper. You ready, Elijah? I, I would sing it, but I want it done right. Okay, let's see what you got, Elijah. I've been seated with Jesus. Oh my God. In heavenly places in Christ. I've been seated with Jesus in heavenly places in Christ. I've been given his power. I've been given his power. I've been given his name Now in this life I rule and I reign Cause I'm seated with Jesus In heavenly places in Christ Better than my buddy, sing it again Come on, give it up for this guy I've been seated with Jesus In heavenly places in Christ Oh yeah, I've been seated with Jesus in heavenly places in Christ. I've been given His power. Come on, Florida, sing. I've been given His power. I've been given His name. Now in this life, I rule and I reign. Cause I'm seated with Jesus. In heavenly places in Christ. Sing good, Elijah. Sing it one more time. Sing it again. I've been seated with Jesus That's in good. heavenly places in Christ. You gotta say, Oh, yes, I have. Oh, oh yes, yes, I have. I have. I've been seated with Jesus in heavenly places in Christ. I've been given His power, I've been given His name, now in this life I rule and I reign, cause I'm seated with Jesus in heavenly places in Christ. Put up there Ephesians 2, you guys stay around, it says, and God raised up us up with Christ and seated us with him in the heavenly realms in Christ Jesus in order that in the coming ages which we're in now he might show the uncomparable riches of his grace expressed in his kindness to us in Christ we've been seated with the Lord and I was just thinking about that yesterday thinking I've been seated with God and um, so I brought up these two Two stools. Come here, Ashton. Sit in the chair a minute. So when Ashton was little, she was so cute. I don't know what happened to her. She's so cute, this child. And uh, she, she, she was probably about four. She was watching High School Musical, and I had a chair. It was a leather chair, and I had owned the chair. She didn't own the chair. I bought the chair. I had moved the chair to three different houses. It was my chair, and it reclined. And I came into the house and she was watching High School Musical and uh, she had went away on something and I, she came back and I was sitting in the chair. She said, hey, that's my chair. And I said, no, it's not your chair. I was just playing with her. It's not your chair, it's my chair. She said, I got here first. I said, I owned that chair 10 years before you were born. And so I just messed with her and I got in the other room from doing something. And it wasn't about 10 minutes later, she came in looking for her father. She said, uh, I wanted you to come sit with me and watch the show. I said, well, you didn't tell me that. 
So um, I got busy and I actually only had like 10 or 15 minutes. We were building the church that time like crazy. And I had to go to another meeting. And I heard the Lord say to me, we lived around Sunset Hills. He said, that's what happens sometimes with me and you. Your father comes in, wants to sit with you. And then you kind of argue around with me. And then I move on. It's important that you understand it's his chair. Now here's the real cool part about it. Are you following me? Raise your hand. You can be seated and just stay with me in spirit. I don't want to change the flow or the gear. Just keep going with that same flow. So when it says, it didn't say we were seated in place of him. Get up a minute and stay with me. It didn't say, oh no, I'm dethroning God and now I'm seated. No. It said we're seated with him. So we're either sitting right next to him or maybe in his lap or with him, but we're not seated in his place. So we get it confused when we think, well, I got my seat and then God doesn't move to our timing. And then we just kind of take off our stool and we go sit over here. You can't even see me anymore. I'm in the dark. So your business in the dark, you don't have any revelation, you don't have any direction. So you're way over here, you're seated by yourself. So you gotta pick up your little stool and you gotta bring your stool to church on a Tuesday night, a Saturday night, a Sunday, you know you need it. And you gotta sit it just as close as you can. Because right now, my shadow is touching her. Her shadow is touching me. When I went back there in the light with no light, there was no shadow even being made because I was totally in the dark. Raise your hand if this makes sense. So the closer you get to the chair, what she should have done is said, hey, daddy, sit with me, sit with me. And she was tiny. She got bigger. <laughs> we in here together. How many of y'all know this is about as close as you can be? I did this with my daughter for a reason. I didn't want to do that to you, Elijah. You sing great, but that's just awkward. But how many of y'all know we're in, we're in divine fellowship? We're about as close as could be. In fact, my blood is in her veins. She's Ashton Nicole Crank. She's my daughter. When you realize who you are and the devil puts something on you, you go, devil, that ain't gonna work. Do you know who my dad is? Somebody ought to get a revelation. I, you can't kill me. My father's God. You can't destroy me. Jesus healed me 2,000 years ago. Oh, I've been seated. Sing it, Elijah. Whoa. I've been seated with Jesus in heavenly places in Christ. Oh, yes, oh, I yeah. I've been seated with Jesus in heavenly places. Mean it when you say it. I've been given. I've been given His power. I've been given His name. Now in this life, I rule and I reign. Cause I'm seated with Jesus in heavenly places in Christ. What we're doing now is we're. It's called sing preaching. I just made that up, but it sounds right to me. So my dad, his name was David Paul Crank. So some people call me David Crank Jr., but it wasn't true because you can't be a junior if your middle name's not the same. But the only difference between my name and dad's name was he had a P in it and I had a D in it. So when I was about 16, my dad allowed me to go on this ministry trip and I remember he told me, he said, uh, take my credit cards with you and nobody will question you because I looked older. I was like a real nerdy kid. I wore Sansa belt pants. I basically just Google Michael J. Fox and that was me. <laughs> and uh, he said, people aren't ever going to question it. And your name is the same as mine. He said, and I'll never forget it. He said, I named you after me. And that's one of the reasons I did it. I don't know if that's true or not, but maybe it was so I remember I went to North Carolina on this ministry 
you know, thing that I got the opportunity to go to. And when, when I left, my dad had a ring that somebody had given him some diamonds and he had a ring made. I still have it. And it says DC for David Crank. He also sometimes would say it stands for devil chaser. <laughs> and he had that ring, Chris, and he, he, he said, while you're out of town, wear my ring. Oh, it's getting better. I got his credit cards. I got his ring. And then he could tell I liked it. I was like, oh man, I like this. By the way, that's a trick to the Lord. When he knows you appreciate it, you're like, God, I can't believe you did that. He's like, oh, you like that? You appreciative? Remember, how many lepers were healed? Remember this? How many? How many came back? One. one. Only one. What's the percentage of that? 10%. So only one came back. God likes it when you praise him, when you thank him. He likes it when you show up on a Tuesday night and say, Lord, I'm going to sing this song. He loves it when them young people are dancing. Would you rather people dance in a club or dance at church? Come on, somebody. Nick, dance again. Well, I love it. So now I got his ring and I got his credit cards. And I was like, oh, Dad, I can't believe this. I, was, I don't even think I was 16. I think I was 15. I know I was 15 because I didn't have a driver's license. And he said, oh, well, then where are my Rolex? I'm like, oh, I got a Rolex. So I remember being on, I remember being on the airlines thinking, I bet people think I'm rich. <laughs> Anybody ever put on maybe your parents' stuff or a uh, little kid? You, I remember Ashley used to walk through Disney with her princess dress on, and she'd say, Dad, I think they think I'm really a, like a princess from Disney. <laughs> so her mom always dressed her in all these different deals. So I was on the airplane, I got off the airplane and I thought, man, I got my dad's credit card. I've been given his name. See where I'm going with this right now? I've been given his power. I got the, I got the time piece on, I got everything. In fact, I still have all that stuff. It means something to me, it's sentimental to me. Wouldn't mean near as much to you as it does to me. Cause why? Cause it came from my father and he's in heaven now and I can't get him, but I can get what he, somebody ought to see what I'm saying right now. So you ought to leave church tonight going, oh, I've been given his power. I've been given his name. I've been seated with Jesus. And so you just walk out feeling different. Everywhere you go, you ought to think I've been seated with Jesus. Let's check this scripture out. Psalms 100 verse 3. Know that the Lord, he is God. Who's not? You're not. Whose ring was it? My dad's. Whose credit card was it? My dad. Who is going to pay the bill? My dad. It is he who made us and not we ourselves. We are his people. Every campus shout it. What are we? We are his people. You're not a Democrat. You're not a Republican. You're not an American. You're a Christian. We are his people and sheep of his pasture. The sheep of his pasture it goes right along with Psalms 23 when it says, The Lord is my shepherd, I shall not want. My dad loved me in a huge way, and I loved him in a huge way. Come here, Ash. Do you, you think there's anything I wouldn't do for her? And then she went and got a tattoo when she was like 15. It says, <laughs> DC times two, which now she didn't have to have my credit cards. She just owns it all when she did that. <laughs> you might not have had a good relationship with your earthly father. And you might not have came from a good family. But a good family can come for you. Generational curses, when they go away when you go to church. The whole trajectory of your life and your family life changes. You've been seated with Jesus. Nicole, last night, she, if you follow her on Instagram, you saw it. She gets invited to all these movie premieres. And I get a text from Joel Osteen with his arm doing this. He said, I went and asked Nicole if I could take a selfie. You know you've arrived when Joel asked you to take a picture. And then Joel was back at like row 15 at this big movie premiere. All these people. And Nicole, favor ain't fair. She's sitting on the front row of it when all the other people are all the way in the back. The reason I tell you that is she was abandoned by her biological father. She was abused and misused. Don't you tell me that you can't give Jesus your life and he can't elevate you to the seat of power.
I've been given his power, I've been given his name, and now in this life, come on, come on, I rule and I reign, cause I'm seated with Jesus, everything is seated. Okay, remember we're priest teaching, nobody really does this but us, but how many of you like what we do at our church? I like our church. I, I, I lied. I don't like our church. I love our church. In fact, when, when I go to heaven, I'm going to ask God if I can come back on the weekends. I, I, I just don't want to miss. Jonna, who was with Nicole, she goes, Jonna, she's so sweet. I saw Jonna at the office today. They drove back from Nashville. And Jonna, she's like, oh my God, oh my God, oh, we went here, we went there, I couldn't believe it. And I, met, I saw the lead singer of Striper, and I did this, and I met this, and the, and the dude from Duck Dynasty was sitting right next to us, blah, 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 blah. And so, and so she said, when Nicole looked at the tickets, and it said, I'm making this up like, row one, seat C, she came up, and she, and she said, Jonna, this can't be us. I'm not sitting in those seats. There's no way Joel Osteen's back there, and this person's back there, and everybody, that is not our seat. She said, Pastor Nicole, it says right here. But because Nicole's thinking, I don't deserve it, there's no way I would be elevated to this seat. There's no way that could be me. And then thank God for Jonna, because Jonna said, Nicole, everybody's seated. There's only two seats left. And the tickets match that. Sit down. You're blocking everybody's view. So Nicole has to get talked in by her friend to go, is this my seat? Do I belong here? I'm telling you, you belong here. This is your church. We are your family. This is what God is doing in your life. This is your open door in 24. Come on, I've been seated with Jesus. Oh, I've been seated with Jesus in heavenly places in Christ. Oh, yes, I have. Oh, yes, I have. I've been seated with Jesus in heavenly places in Christ. Oh, I've been given. I've been given His power. I've been given His name. Now, right now, now. in this life, I rule and I reign because I'm seated with Jesus. So yesterday was a really long day and uh, we started I think at 8 a.m. and we were supposed to be at the movie premiere at 5 but we were still working. We were still working until 5.30 and we were outside and we were working outside so hard we were soaking wet so we went and we took a five minute shower to go to a movie premiere. Literally rinsed off, put on our clothes and said, Jonna, we'll just be there to meet everybody. And then when they go sit down for the movie, we'll sneak out, we've seen it before. This place was bigger than the Fox Theater, y'all. It was the Fox Theater with this and then the, the balcony. Y'all don't know what that is in Florida, but, but it's 5,000 seats. And it had this and it had the mezzanine. And then it had another mezzanine just as big as that one. And then it had a, a fourth floor just as big as that one. So when it said like row, row A, I'm section 205 and 206, I'm like, we're in like section two or whatever. So when we just kept walking forward, I'm like, no, 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 no. There were seats waiting for us, whether we showed up or not. And we almost didn't show up for our seats. And how offended would the movie producer have been who invited some girl from a gravel road to sit right there? Well, the Heavenly Father is way bigger than that movie producer. And he's reserved you a seat that might be so far forward. You're busy looking back here for your chair. And like, God, why didn't you make a place for me? He's like, you haven't moved far enough up yet. You're looking in section two and you need to be looking at row A. You're looking in the left section and you're looking in the right section. But you need to be looking at the center section because you're not God. He didn't create no junk. You are favored and we don't. 
deserve it and we didn't earn it and he still gets it to us. Verse 11. And every priest standeth daily ministering and offering oft times the same sacrifices which can never take away sins. But this man, everybody shout, this man. Who is that man? Jesus? But this man, Jesus, after he had offered one sacrifice for sins, forever sit down. Everybody shout, sit down at the right hand of God the Father from henceforth expecting till his enemies be made his footstool. For by one offering he hath perfected forever them that are sanctified. So when Jesus did what he did, he sat down at the right hand of the Father and said, his enemies footstool so that thing you're worried about footstool financial problems footstool oh somebody ought to say what I'm saying right now the thing you thought was going to kill you going to elevate your legs help your blood pressure take a load off come on somebody I've been giving his name now in his life I like it it's comfortable because I'm very comfortable he'd been given his power said, who told who said you could sit there my dad who's your dad God I think I told you the story I know the Lord really well talked to him I remember when those cops were harassing me in Florida and I was talking to the Lord. They couldn't see him. By the way, you got to be careful with stuff you can't see. And um, he was there. And when that cop came up and was bad to me, and there's a lot of great cops. This was just a bad one. And um, he was so, yeah, I'm going to arrest you. I'm walking your dog. Everybody got a dog. And I wasn't even offended. I just thought, oh, my gosh, I could tell it ticked Dad off. I'm like, oh, this ain't going to be good. And then they all got fired. and I didn't do anything. But, you know, the Lord has ways of just making your enemies footstool. I remember at Earth City, when, the, when they came and said, you know, you're not going to get the permits. We're not going to let you do the, we don't like Joyce Meyer because the media was hammering them. By the way, I want to warn you about the media. 99.9% .9 of all media are liars and troublemakers, and you can't believe them. 
Why do I tell you that? Because I need you to know that. So they went after Joyce Meyer. She's a great, she's, everything they said about her, she's the complete opposite. So they lied on her. She doesn't even like living in St. Louis because they've stained her name so much. And she's really, should be a humanitarian of the year. She should win awards. She will when she gets to heaven. And unfortunately, they probably won't be there to see it. Um, but when, when, when they came after me and they're gone at our city, the guy said he's not going to allow us to open it up. And then he, when they went, Nicole went to get the final permit and the, he didn't show up. Another guy showed up. She said, hey, what happened? To, what's his name? Said him by name. Said, I, I, don't, I don't know. He, he woke up paralyzed from the waist down. And said, was he in an accident? We don't know. And so these people ended up signing off on it. And then we went to get our final. That was a temporary occupancy. We went to get the final. And that guy showed back up. She said, oh, it's good to see you, so-and-so. What happened? He said, I don't know. It was the strangest thing in the world. The day I was coming to fail the inspection, I got paralyzed. And I couldn't move for 30 days. And then, then all of a sudden, it just went away. Footstool. We had church. He was at home paralyzed. Why? We took a bar and made a church out of it. Now thousands and thousands of people go to that church. We've been given his power. We've been given his name. So that problem, you think you're fighting a person, a person at work, that litigation. You're not fighting. You're wrestling against principalities and powers. But you don't have to get in the floor to wrestle. We, we don't wrestle. We have that done. Well, we didn't have to deal with that guy. God woke up and said, I'm going to make you an offer you can't refuse. You're going to be bed fast for 30 days. No walking. He wasn't a problem. And when he came back, miraculously, he signed us off. And so it's just when your dad's God, guys, you got to really, you're really hooked up. Y'all hear what I'm saying? Like your dad is God. Not Elon Musk. Not a king. He is the king of all kings. That's your dad. All right. We're almost done. I think we are done. I just really hate to see us part ways. Um, I think Elijah, man. Elijah, I'm so glad I, I bought you all those wings today. You were so good. He almost had a club sandwich, didn't he, Dylan? Remember that today? Yeah, what did he order? He was ordering what at lunch? He was chicken corn. Chicken, uh, chicken wings instead. That's right, man. he did. Barbecue. Peer pressure. <laughs> the MDs back there in the back, they peer pressured him. They actually told him he was going to lose his black cards, what they told him, if he didn't do it. Next thing I look over, he'd be eating chicken wings. Come on, somebody. One more time. Hit it again. I've been seen. I've been It's so smooth. The tone's good. I've been seated with Jesus in heavenly places in Christ. I've been given His power. I've been given His name. Oh 
have to be really scared and really freaked out right now, but I was sitting in that chair and I saw you back there and the Lord told me to tell you this. He said, tell her that I know the things that concern her and I know the things she's worried about. And the Lord said, you're seated. You understood what I was saying tonight. You're seated with him. And I just saw you just sitting on this big figure. I didn't see God's head, but I saw what I think is God. And you were just sitting on his lap. And he said, you're safe in him. You're secure in him. And he's working all those things out that concern you. You don't have to worry about it. It's taken care of. And then I just saw us singing. Come here, Elijah. I saw us just singing this song to you right now. What's your name? Sue. What is it? Sue. Sue, come here. We're about to sing it. Mm, thank you, Sue, for coming up. I've been seated with Jesus in heavenly places in Christ. I feel the anointing going into you, Sue, right now. <laughs> I've been seated with Jesus in heavenly places in Christ. Oh, that bondage is breaking. Those strongholds are breaking right now. I've been here. I feel a popping off you. Cut it up off my couple bucks. Because I'm seated with Jesus in heavenly places. Come on, sing with me and sing it. Sing it now. Come on, Florida. Ferguson, all around the world. Well, it makes the devil mad when you sing this part. I've been given his power. The Lord's touching people right now. Wherever it hurts, take your right hand and place it on the back or the wherever it ails you. Maybe it's even just emotional in your heart or in your head. Allow the Lord to touch you. The Lord says, you'll lay hands on the sick and they will recover. It's not my touch. I don't have to be in the building where you're at or at your home. God is omnipresent, meaning he's everywhere at one time. He's been with you all day and you didn't even know it. He said, I'll never leave you. I'll never forsake you. The Lord is, I hear he's un, unblocking arteries right now. That aneurysm won't happen. I hear it by the Holy Ghost. Blockages. Unblocked. Arthritis. Bursitis. Stigmatisms. Abnormal heartbeats. Breathing disorders being healed addictions I hear it like a chain like pop, 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 pop. it's being broke he who the son has set free is free indeed you're free you know why you're free you've been seated with Jesus in heavenly places beautiful in here. Can you all guys feel it, what I feel? I've been seated with Jesus in the heavenly places in Christ. You didn't earn it. He just gave it to you. I've been given. Your dad put that ring right on you. He put that credit card right in your pocket. Now in this life I'm ruling I'm right because I'm Yeah, they like to 
Hey, thank you for watching Faith Church on YouTube. And I want you to subscribe so you can know whenever we go live and post new content. You can also comment below and let us know if the message spoke to you. When you're watching also know that we wanna pray for you. We wanna know what's going on in your world. So you can comment below and we'll pray for you. Thanks again for watching on YouTube and we'll see you next time.